Hey guys, Skylar here. So I am back yet again with another video. As I mentioned when I opened my uh, duvet from Sleepgram, that I was also ordering some new bedding from Brooklinen, which did just arrive today. Wait, literally, as I got out of work, so that's wonderful. Um, I haven't ordered from them in a little while. I think the last time I ordered was, I think, 2006. 2000, no, 2017. Because I did like a room redo because my parents were on like a anniversary trip. Um, so I figured I would go ahead and open this up because this is from their linen collection, and I have never had linen, let alone felt their linen. So let's just see how it, it goes. So let's see. Let's cut my tape. I love that their box is like a suitcase, and they ship it like that. Okay, so let's see. Can I do this one-handed? Kind of. All right. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't expect this. So it's actually wrapped. Okay. I I thought it was going to be in the um the tote bag that it usually comes in. But I like this. So, um I'll show you the little tag that's coming in on. All right. So this is the linen collection from Bitbrook Linen and it is 100% French and Belgian linen. So, let me just kind of hop over here for you guys. There you go, a little tag. And then, it's like the inside's just like care instructions and explaining a little bit about, you know, what they do. Uh, so it looks like it's listed as, crafted from premium French and Belgian flax, our linen is produced in small batches, giving each piece its unique color variation. Um, I have no idea how to say this word, so I'm gonna say it very wrong, but inspired by uh, Sprit Spritzator, probably very wrong. Um, the studied and carelessness Italians have perfected for centuries. I guess it's a style. Um, this collection is meant to be mixed and matched to create a relaxed, layered look, and trust us, it's meant to be rumpled, which is why I love it. I love that look, that lived-in look. And also, I'm too lazy to iron wrinkles out, so perfect. And then, uh, more exorbitant and breathable than cotton, get ready to slip into the feeling of an Italian summer. Deal. And it looks like it's just like wash on cold um, and tumble dry on low. Of course, if possible, you probably should just do it without any heat, but cool. So that's kind of nice. So for my colors, I got um, the petal pink for the sheets and the, um, what is it? Chambray charcoal for the actual um, duvet cover. Okay, and I love how this feels, like, because I assume that the the stuff, the little pouch it's in, is also linen, potentially, because it feels hecka soft. Okay, so let's take this out. Uh, this is my duvet cover. So these are my pillowcases for the duvet, because I ordered the uh, hardcore bundle, and with the hardcore bundle, you, hardcore, hardcore bundle, you get uh, one duvet cover. You get your shit, shit, <laughs> your set of sheets, which is a top sheet, bottom sheet, or I guess fitted sheet rather, two pillowcases. And then since it's a bundle, you do get an additional two pillowcases. Uh, in my case, I tend to get ones that match the duvet. You of course can get ones that match the sheets, ones that match the duvet, or you can just get some random ones. You literally choose whatever you want, once it's available, of course. Um, I will say, these got some heft to them, unlike the regular sheets. Because typically when you order a bundle from them, um, it's just in a tote bag. And, you know, they just kind of fold it up really neatly. This is full on, everything is separated. So it means I get to do this. Alright, so let's kind of separate all these here. Alright. Um, this is just my order receipt. Okay, I hate to untie this because it's so pretty. Like, it's it's never gonna look this way again. All right, let's take you off. Because um, with the care instructions, I already, I wash all my stuff on gold. I do not use hot or warm water unless absolutely needed. I, I just don't want to. Okay. Oh, oh. Hey. Okay, that's a feel. Okay, 
So let's see if I can kind of show you guys here. I'm going to pull up to the camera just because obviously with my exposure and the lighting here, it's, it's not going to look the same if I don't get a little closer. Here is the Petal Pink. So this is my sheets and I got two pillowcases with those sheets. Uh, as you probably notice from below me, I have like a dusty pink uh, throw blanket. I am truly having fun with the world and times of millennial pink. So I'm excited. All right, so now for the duvet cover. I feel, again, I feel so bad. Look how pretty this is. It's just like a little, little vanilla envelope in a sense. I feel so bad on doing this, but I like that they give you individual bags because I'm quite good at folding, so I can definitely get it back in this bag, no problem. Um, but I like they give you a bag to store it in. That's one of the things I like about a little bit more of the high-end expensive bedding that you can buy online because typically they come in garment bags and storing is nice because even though it's not a thick layer, like I can put my hand in here. I can see my hand for the most part, but it's still a protective layer, so it's nice. Okay, and here is the um, chambray charcoal. Uh, let's get that up close for you guys. So you know, it's like nice, like stitched color. Um, they do have a darker gray, which is just charcoal, um, which is actually what they advertise the petal pink sheets with is with the charcoal. Because now we have that really dark um, gray with a nice, you know, pale pink. It looks really beautiful. Um, I just don't want something that dark. So, this is my compromise. Alright, and now for the pillowcases for the duvet. Oh, yeah. Oh, those do honestly feel really nice. Okay, so, now the fun part is taking everything out, taking everything off my bed, and getting this stuff on there. Uh, I don't know how I want to do this. So let's see, I believe this is, yeah, this is my top sheet. Uh, looks like here are the pillowcases. And this would be the fitted sheet. So how did you guys, okay. So we fitted sheet is going to be the regular old elastic which when you stretch it out you can see that it's a really pale pink and when you bunch it up it's a little bit of a darker pink so that should be interesting and if i'm correct they do okay so the one thing about brooklyn that i love which a lot of bedding companies do do this is that they give you a short and long size so that way you know what is what? <laughs> so this is my short side, which means if I put my hands here, my hand here, they're not very far apart, as you can see. Um, with the long side, your hands are gonna be more like this. So it's kind of helpful to have that there. And then there's the long side tag right here. So it works perfectly. All right, so let's get this on my bed. Hey guys, I'm back. So finally got my stuff on my bed. Um, I also learned that this duvet cover is a little bit bigger than I expected. I have a king size duvet on my queen bed just because I like to have that overhang. And I have a thicker mattress, so, you know, thicker mattress means the blanket goes a little higher up. Um, this would be a bit fluffier had I actually put my duvet in the dryer. Because uh, Sleepgram recommends you put it in the dryer to like really fluff it up. So I'll probably do that at some point. Um, because you just have a little heat, so I could just throw it in the duvet cover in there. Um, but now I'm going to take you guys off the tripod and just show you the actual bed itself. So hold on a second here. Just go. Boopity boop. Boom. All right. And here's the mess of everything below. I like it. What I love is this is way more red on camera than it is in person. <laughs> Um, so here you go. As you see, it's it's very wrinkled, but that's kind of the whole point of it, is that it is a wrinkled look. It's a lived-in look. Um, so hopefully this works out well. Um, I'm trying to turn my exposure down a little bit. There we go. I had it up a little bit just so I could you could see me a lot better. 
So here's a more realistic look at it. But when you just kind of grab it, so, you know, it's, you can see it just kind of springs. It's very soft. It is very light though. You can see your hand through it for the most part. But it takes me, so it's, it's a complete fabric. It's just, it's, it's kind of sheer. Um, that's kind of point. So you see it just, it just flows, which I love. Um, and then I figured I would, um, kind of try to make this look nice. I'm not very good at this, as y'all can see. Um, that's kind of why I got the linen, is I can just throw my pillows on there and call it good. Like, I don't, I don't have anything special. Like, hold on. Let me just throw you guys back on here. And I'll show you what I mean by, it. I'm literally just gonna throw it on there. So. Boom. Boom. Uh, and then we'll take this thing. I'm just kinda, kinda toss it over there for a look. You know, that, that definitely lifted look. You want lived in and cozy? Here you go. I mean, no one actually makes a bed like this. This is just messy as heck. But I mean, here's me. Oh, here's another good point I can make. Um, so this pillow right here is more of the regular charcoal um, that Brooklyn actually sells. So this is the chambray charcoal and this is like the true charcoal. This is not from Brooklyn, but this is basically the color that they have. Um, so just to give you a perspective of the difference in shade, you can kind of expect if you got the regular charcoal color. That's a little better. I have my 24 millimeter on pancake lens, so it's easier to kind of put you on a tripod and just sit than hold it out because I don't have that angle of view. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited because it's, it's just, it's going to be a change. I've never had linen before, so I will try to do a review with it. I'm really bad at remembering the reviews of things. I still haven't done a review of the Sleek Ram pillow I've had for like, I think I've had it for a year at this point. I'm pretty sure I bought it like last tax season. Um, but I am loving this. I, I like to have some good sleeps in this bed. Um, and if you haven't noticed, my pants also match. My socks don't though, because uh, this is a Wednesday. That's the other reason I got the pink is pink is my second favorite color. Uh, my first is purple. Unfortunately, Brooklyn does not sell purple sheets. Uh, I do plan on buying their white percale sheets though and dyeing them purple. I'll probably do a video for that. Um, I'm just waiting because I don't want to buy a bunch of bedding at once because what's the point of buying a whole bunch if you're not going to use it right away? So I figured I would try out the linen, really give it a chance and see how it feels. Uh, but yeah, so I think I'm going to let you guys go and I'm going to enjoy this bed because I need a nap. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Bye.